So welcome to another Quick Tip Thursday and today I'm going to show you how to import an SVG file and how to convert it into a 3D object. So let's jump into the computer and let me show you how easy it is. So here we are inside of the edit page. As you can see here in the timeline, I have an SVG and a 3D SVG. So this is a simple SVG file in 2D and this one is a 3D, the same one, but converted into a 3D object. So let's see how easy it is. Let's delete this. So let's create a new fusion composition. Let's call it SVG 2, 3, D. 3D. Let's create. The time is okay. Let's create. Let's open the SVG to 3D here. And here we are inside of the Fusion page. I like to add always here a background node with the, this background with the alpha to zero. So a transparent one. And let's import our SVG file. So for importing is very easy. You come here where it says Fusion in, in the top menu. Go to the Fusion import and SVG. And I already have here a logo that I created in Inkspace. So it appears this menu and this menu is the size of the SVG file that you want to use. You know, SVG files are composed by vectors, but when you import it into DaVinci Resolve, it will convert it to pixels. So I highly recommend that you put a big value over here. I like to put 1000 and it's okay and immediately you see this group over here and if you open it it's all of this so it converts our svg file as you can see i have it here in the in space is this file over here so it's converted into this if you want to use it as 2d it's very easy just drag in drop it over here and if you go to here and put it over here it's a, a simple SVG file. It's an image. It's, a, it's the same as import uh, PNG, uh, JPEG, like that. But we want to convert it now into a 3D object. So let's go again into the Fusion. Let's remove this and let's keep our logo over here. And to convert it to 3D, we're going to need a render. We're going to need a merge and in the render, enable lighting and shadows. And here, convert to hardware render in my case, because I have a good graphics card. If you don't have it, use software render. You can connect our render to our media out. And now to connect this to the Merge 3D, we're gonna need here an, an image plane 3D. Let's connect it to here and we can connect this to here. And now we already have here the logo, but you don't see anything because we are missing our camera. So we're gonna connect the camera over here. I'm gonna select, let's put the merge in the viewer one. Let's select the camera and I'm gonna come here to transform. I'm gonna back the camera a little bit. I'm gonna put four, okay. Then I'm gonna add here a spotlight over here connected to here the spotlight i'm gonna back it a little bit so i'm gonna put two and we already have here our image well lit but it's too much i'm gonna resize this i'm gonna put the spotlight over here and i'm gonna rotate it a little bit in the Y axis, okay, something like this. Now let's go to the image plane 2D. Let's come here to the material and here use two sided because if you just use one side, when you rotate, you don't see light in the object. So if you use two sided, you will see everything the same in one side and in the other side. So now let's add some extrusion to this. To do that, it's very easy. She space and type duplicate and use the duplicate 3D node. Come here and where it says copies, I like to use like 100 copies and I want to offset those copies at 0 0.01. And now if you come here, you can see that we already have here some extrusion. If you see that it's not enough, you can increase the number of copies 
And as you can see, I want to put 150. And here we have our SVG converted into a 3D object. If you want to animate, for example, you can add here a transform 3D. And let's see, as you can see, the center is in the back. You can, with the transform selected, you come here to the pivot and you can move it a little bit to something like this to be in the middle. And now we can come here to the first frame, add a keyframe, for example, over here, go to the last one and change this value, for example, to 360 and it will do a turn. So as you can see, it will do a turn, but let's increase here. Let's come to our light. So the spotlight, this one, I'm going to rotate it a little bit more and I'm going to come here to the controls and I'm going to add here, a, open a little bit of the light and I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to add another spotlight connected to here. And this one, I'm going to move it a little bit here and a little bit back. I'm going to rotate it here increase the cone also and the drop the penumbra and you can increase also the drop off. Let's go to the transform and let's rotate it like this. And now if we come to the edit page and we drag our SVG to 3D and if we play it and here we have the SVG as a 3D object rotated. So as you can see, it's very easy and I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video. Until then, bye.